Love is yours truly, Never Peacock Nubia, coming to you today, January 29th, the eve of the new moon in Aquarius. I am elated to celebrate this Aquarius energy. It's the energy of uniqueness and the collective and the artistic and the intuitive. And as we move in journey into 2014, this new moon, this is, which is a super moon, will uh, help us to set intentions for the new year. And as you see, I'm an extremely creative soul, such as Aquarius's are. I'm a Gemini, an air sign, and I, um, I love makeup. I have fun with makeup, and makeup is part of my rituals that I do, as well that, that my ancestors have done, um, African ancestors from my um, also my Native American ancestors as well. And it's a very powerful ritual to do, and I'm going to get into that shortly. And I'll also be recording another video, which should be posted by the time you guys see this video, on powerful rituals that you can do to really enhance and better your life and attract what you want idealistically for yourself and for your loved ones. Um, so, as always... I took notes in my journal right here, so if you guys see me glancing down at my journal, um, it's just to share that with you. That's what I'm looking at, okay? Uh, I want to start by saying peace and love, namaste, shalom, salam, and send nothing but infinite, infinite, infinite love and, and bliss and empowerment and to you because it is a, such a special magical time um not only is it the new moon but venus is coming out of retrograde and not and it's also a super moon and with venus coming out of retrograde it's a time for now abundance and when, now that venus is going direct it's a time for abundance and it's a time for um healing our relationships so let's get started okay the new moon is coming in tomorrow at 4.23 Eastern Standard Time, which is um, 1.30, 1.23, excuse me, Pacific Time. Um, it's the end of, again, Venus retrograde, and it will be the second moon of a 30-day cycle, which makes it a super moon, which enhances your um, ability to manifest. Okay, so basically, the sun is the conscious mind, and the moon symbolizes the unconscious mind. So when they come together, they make the new moon, which is powerful time to set your new intentions. Okay, let's go back up. Let's see. Um, the vision for our future. Um, this is what this new moon is about. Um, serving the collective. Okay, break out of old routines. Aquarius is different. Aquarius celebrates um, being unique, being um, from the future, um, being um, individuals, but part of the collective conscious because Aquarius is all about groups and, and uniting and um, unifying and taking us into, of course, the age of Aquarius, which is all about information um, and intuition, okay? And the more you use your intuition, the stronger you become. So we really want to focus in on following our first mind, so they say, or your gut feelings. Especially you women, because we have the womb energy. Okay? Now, um, you also want to embrace your weird, quote-unquote, different creative side. The things that you've been afraid to, to do, the person that you've been afraid to perhaps be, um, your silly side, your... Like I said, you're creative, you're weird, you're different side. All of those things that you may have been holding back because you are out of fear of what others may think. Um, it's time to embrace that. If you wanted to dye your hair, move to a, a new place, um, write a book, write a different kind of song, make a different kind of beat. You know, these are all powerful times to, to do that. Um, this is also a great time to start a new group. So if you want to start a... A group geared towards anything supernatural coming together maybe to meditate to do rituals to manifest um, to do even drumming and dancing which is also rituals perhaps you want to start a group and come up with ideas of groups that you can start in your area to help everyone um, further and themselves um, ascend 
um, spiritually and, and connect to that higher self, okay? So that you'll be able to manifest. And only through being your authentic self can you truly manifest what you want. Because anytime you're not being your authentic, authentic self, people can see through that. And then they won't want to connect with you. Okay? Because people love what's real. They love what's authentic. What's what's uniquely you. So bring your unique self into, uh, uh, into being. You know? Celebrate it. Okay? What makes you special? Celebrate that. Now, the eclipse that was on November 13th squares this moon, which is a time about empowering ourselves, okay? Um, we're, this, this time is also influenced by earth energy. So doing rituals that can ground you or using elements of the earth, such as plants, dirt, um, planting, um, We'll get into different rituals that you can do. Um, just using earth elements, stones, crystals, they're, they're earth elements. So really connecting with that. Maybe go out and buying yourself some new stones. Well, this would be a good time to do that as well. Um, this this energy is asking, who are you? Who are you? Who's your divine, real self? What have you came to do? And are you doing it? And if not, why? What is blocking you from being happy so that you're able to embrace yourself um, in totality? Okay, every aspect, every mini side, every face of you. You are a powerful, divine creator. And you want to em embrace that, that, that whole totality of yourself so that you'll be able to create and manifest exactly what you want to create and manifest for yourself, okay? There's nothing that you have to do to fit in. We're all uniquely created with different fingerprints. You have to be who you truly, truly are. You know that? Embrace that beautiful, natural self. You know, for those of you who have perms who've been wanting to go natural, go for it. Um, just embrace you, okay? Um, it's time to meditate to connect to your higher self. It's a time of enlightenment. You want to shed the of the perceptions of who you think you are, okay? You can't you don't have to define yourself as anything because you are made in the divine image and likeness of the creator who can be all things to all people um, at any given time, okay? If you define yourself, you label yourself, you negate yourself. There's a, there's a quote that says, to define me is to negate me because then you have to be fit into that definition of that and what you defined yourself to be instead of being open to being, to growing into the person you are made to become, the goddess in you, the God in you. Okay, um, it's time to, like I said, it's time to um, celebrate your authentic, unique self, your uniqueness. Um, you want to harness group power because there are power in numbers. We know this. So again, like I said, start those groups or connect to a group. Perhaps you want to join a certain organization. Now is the time to do so. Create a certain organization. Um, whether it be a church, a group, um, a business, a company. Anything it, it, that will empower and better yourself in, in your world, okay? We want to think futuristically. We want to be open to divine guidance and exactly what we need to do. What is our calling? So we'll be able to fulfill that. Let's see. Next page. It's about bold beginnings, okay? Setting the foundation for 2014. That's what we're on. Um, uh, when you... Step into your authentic, divine, higher self. You also um, step into your divine destiny where your true power lies. You have to own it. You have to say, I am powerful. I am a powerful creator. I am a beautiful, divine goddess. I am a beautiful, divine God-like man, okay? You, you really have to take ownership of what it is that you're creating for yourself, okay? Uh... Again, like I said, the age of Aquarius is all about intuition. Intuition is a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it'll become. And you'll be guided um, by your ancestors, your spirit guides, your angels, the most high. And um, to, to really be able to capitalize and build and, and fulfill your destiny and, and be the person that you were born to be. You know, the person who your ancestors um, work so hard to pass down certain lessons and messages to you that they're trying to get through to you, okay? Um, you want to view your challenges right now as opportunities to become um, 
who you're supposed to be to better yourself. View your challenges um, as opportunities for a new life. Um, look at it differently. You know, pull up the power. Um, pull up your inner power in doing that, okay? Set your intentions on what you want to manifest boldly. Go where you were afraid to go before. Do what you were afraid to do before. Be that person. Um, step into to, to the knowingness. Not Don't hope for things. Know that they're going to happen. And it's the difference between things happening for you and people who live in the divine, magical life and people who don't, okay? Um, Venus that rules prosperity again in abundance and also relationships goes direct on the 31st which is so exciting because where there's been blockages financially there's doors are going to open um, which I have some rituals for you to help that make, and also your love relationships the ones that are going to make you so happy fulfill you on every level of your being will get better and those that are not for you will remove themselves and they will fall away so if they if things seem to like be ending for you let them move on into that person that you want you have to love yourself the way you want others to love you so in, in order for them to love you you have to embrace it authentic authentic divine self okay i keep saying that because I'm, I'm i'm drilling that into your subconscious mind um venus rules what you love and value so you want to be in the vibration for what it is that you want to attract where attention goes energy flows you're going to manifest whatever it is that you're focused on and you're going to attract what your vibe what your vibration is on so if you want to attract love you have to feel loving you have to maybe um Focus on people's relationships around you who have loving relationships like the way you want them. Celebrate them um, and say, this is what I want. And uh, I have, again, more rituals that I'm going to talk to you about in the other video on uh, how to exactly do that. But like I said, you want to be in that vibration, so feel good. Uh, and start morning rituals, which, again, I'll talk to you about that in the next video. So this is about, you know, embracing your silly side, not feeding your fears or your lower self. Um, nobody is a failure, you know. It's time to, to start again. This is a new year, new beginnings. We're coming up on the lunar moon. It's just, it's, it's divine. It's beautiful, exciting time for everything to just be the way you always wanted it to be, the way you always knew it should be. It's time to start breaking those old habits and unhealthy patterns and focus on newness. Now, at the time of the new moon, you do not want to focus on anything that you don't want. No, this is about newness, okay? This is about focusing on what you do want. Now, like I said, uh, Okay, that was all for those notes. But you are a powerful, powerful, powerful creator. You have um, a lot of Uranus energy going on, a lot of creative energy. Um, and it's just an exciting time. So, again, I'm going to go over some rituals that you could do at the time of this new moon in the next video. And rituals you can do all the time to really enrich and empower yourself and, and attract that life live to the fullest so beautifully and to and to connect with the people that you've been looking to connect with um, for business for pleasure for spiritual reasons for healing okay healing others you know I, it's really important I always to tell my friends I always tell you guys you know I don't just want to be in someone's life and be their friend or be their lover I want to see how I can come in their life and better them and how they can come in my life and better me okay and how can we help each other reach the next level financially spiritually health wise it's all a pyramid so let's do that it's 2014 and I'm so 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 very excited to take this journey with you and helping us reach the the highest heights um, to, to fulfill all the things that we came here to do. Okay, so we can ascend up out of here. All right? Love and be loved. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll talk to you soon. Be sure to share because this is the time. This is the time, y'all. Don't miss it. Take a full advantage. And let's get it done. All right? Namaste. I love you. 
One love, shalom, peace, hope, tap, tap you, and one. Oh, I also want to say, well, we'll get into that in the next video. It's all about rituals. So, um, and the rituals that you can do. So, watch the next video as well, okay? One love. Mwah. Peace. <laughs>